traffic and uh, we don't want to see the businesses downtown destroyed because their workers can't get there to actually work. A big part of this also is just awareness a lot of these folks may not know. Uh, when I first heard about this I spoke to quite a few people and no one has any idea. This has all been kept very very quiet and only until we actually tell people and actually pass the word will people actually realize the scope of this problem. In fact, it's going to destroy a lot of people's lives for three years if uh, TxDOT goes on, uh, works on time. And I have to say, I work in the medical center, and Fan was supposed to be a very quick project, and I can't admit, only, only now is getting finished, and I, I first started looking at it in 1995, so I'm very skeptical. Uh, I think this needs to be really looked at very carefully, in the public eye, so that way everyone knows what's going on. Side streets, and I have a problem handling this amount of traffic. Oh, the, the plan... In no city that I've ever lived in does a highway get rerouted through a neighborhood. And when you do that, you're dealing with stoplights, schools, businesses, uh, small roads that just can't handle highway traffic. There's going to be horrible gridlock. And I've heard it compared to Christmas and, and uh, Westheimer near the Galleria. It's going to be traffic nonstop, uh, all day. And imagine uh, the gridlock during rush hour. It's going to be impossible. And on top of that, they're redoing other roads. Kirby's being redone, I-10's being redone. There are all these different projects at the same time. There's nowhere for commuters to go. They're going to have to filter out through the very small neighborhood streets, which have speed bumps and, and also stop signs. They're not, they're not designed to handle highway traffic through the neighborhoods. It's just, it's, the plan does not make sense. Just a couple weeks away, is it too late to stop this? Uh, of course, until they actually when, when the date comes, I think, I think the plan is to blow up the, uh, the spur. So when that happens, it's all over. There's nothing that can be done. But until then, as long as the spur is still standing and the plans haven't started, it can be stopped at any time. From our city government to TxDOT, it can always be postponed, looked at, reworked, better plans come up with. Uh, maybe finishing other projects to then allow better access to downtown through other routes. But until it's actually started, uh, it, it you know, it doesn't have to go through. I think there's a lot of money riding on this with contractors and a lot of, you know, plans have already been made. No one wants to stop momentum, but when momentum is going to kill off many sections of, of the city, I think it's it's a bad thing to do, and as a community, we need to stop it. Back several years ago, they did the Pierce Elevator the same way. <laughs> they did the Pierce Elevator the same way several years ago. Right. Um, they closed the entire Pierce Elevator. Okay. You know, would they be... Has anyone approached them on something like this as far as speeding up the time again on something like this being right. finished in a short period? Right. Is that what was done with the, uh, you know, that shortest, yeah. uh, shortest time was done? You know, that's a, that's a great question. I, I guess I'm not familiar with, with that, that project. And I think uh, uh, every... I guess I'm just saying, I don't know. Uh, I haven't actually looked at that project. I think Steve and Diane Beagle, who are on the last bridge, will probably be able to give you more information on that. I do know that uh, here, when these bridges were being built, the bridges are standing on, they are apparently closed on Saturdays, and the traffic was horrible uh, all the way around the neighborhood, Richmond, West Alabama. And I know that, that when this happens, it's going to be much, much worse during rush hour. So I guess I wish I could tell you about the Pierce Elevator. Name again? Ramsey Marcus, R-A-M-S-E-Y-M-A-R-K-U-S. I'm one of the founders of 59gridlock.org and what we're doing today is letting the 59 commuters know that on February 13th access into downtown will be closing via Spur 527. So if they want to exit on Richmond or Travis, Louisiana or Brazos, that uh, access will be over February 13th for three years. Okay, and traffic basically routed through these 
neighborhoods? Um, we don't see how you can take 100,000 cars and ride them on the two remaining lanes of 59. So I, I do believe that um, that the traffic's going to have to go to neighborhood streets. Okay, now February 13th, they're talking totally shut that spur down. Right, yeah. they're going to they're gonna close the spur down and demolish it that night. And what are you all asking for them to do? What we're asking is, is two things. One, um, let's quit speculating on what's going to happen to the 59 traffic and run a test plan. Uh, and if they don't want to do that, then let's just delay this project until we have some alternate routes in the town, perhaps until the 610 loop, West Loop project is finished. Okay, now as far as tests, you're talking about basically blockading the spur for two weeks, just see how it, what happens? Exactly. We're talking about uh, simulating the traffic flow exactly as it would be uh, when they do start the construction, but not demolishing anything or doing any construction. Okay, now, as far as mine, what are they actually talking about doing with that spur from the start? What are the, as far as construction-wise, what are they talking about as far as totally blowing it? Yeah, uh, well, the, 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 they're going to take the spur down um, to put a temporary exit to Main Street, and the whole project is being done basically to bring 59 below grade and to put an HOV lane from Mandel all the way over the spur into town. Okay, well, they're actually talking about dropping the spur. Uh, no, the, the plans right now are to keep the spur elevated. Tell me as far as when they, oh, when they close this thing down, just totally dropping it, rebuilding it? Yeah. Yes, exactly right. They're going to they're gonna, they're gonna close it down. My understanding is they're going to demolish it <coughs> and, and, and do over. Okay. Has anyone talked to Texas about, uh, several years ago, Pierce Elevated, they had the same type of project. Right. right. The record time they did it in, the contract was brought in, but they had a schedule. Has Texas up in, in anything to this country? So we all talked to them about this. Oh yeah, I talk to TxDOT all the time. TxDOT's worked awfully hard on this project. They've got some really committed people. Um, and this is not about TxDOT being an evil agency. We, we want uh, progress in Houston. What this is about is that we're not just talking about doing lane narrowing. We're talking about closing an entire access method in a downtown and the fact that they're constraining the freeway such that there's no possible ways these cars can get where they're going. And um, I think any good traffic engineer worth his salt would, would agree with that. And, and again, TxDOT's not, not the evil player here. They worked really hard on this. They're just doing what they've been told to do and what they're, what they're paid to do, which is build stuff. Spell your last name. Uh, B as in boy, I-E-G-E-L.
they're getting ready to shut this thing down for three years. Do you use this on a regular basis out here? Yeah. How's that going to affect your driving? I mean, why, why are they shutting it down? They're getting ready to rebuild. This whole whole thing right here is being rebuilt. That's these sign, protest signs were overhead a while ago. Oh, uh, well, Which mean, way are you end up having to come in now? I don't know. I'm sure I got to come up with something now. I don't know. I mean, three years? Three years. Ooh, that's a long time, man. All right. What's uh, your name? Dion. Okay, thanks. Uh, but you, you understand they're getting ready to shut this overpass or this uh, spur down here, don't you? I just found out about it. Okay, what are you going to be doing as far as coming in now, your commute? How's it going to affect your commute? Uh, very effectively. I'll have to find another way around. What part of town do you come in from? All the way from Bessonette. And you're coming right into downtown here? Yes. Okay, and it's, so it's pretty much going to change yeah. your plans a lot for the next three years? Yes. All right, thanks. You know, like getting ready to close the spur down here in the next, for the next three years. What are you going to be doing as far as getting to work, and how's it going to affect your commute? Well, it's going to make my commute a nightmare. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. Which way? You come from how far out do you come from? I come from southwest Houston. Yeah, and so you don't know which way you'll be taking now or no, anything else? I don't really have many alternatives. Do you think this is poor planning with the highway department? I think it stinks. And I think they should ask the commuters before they make decisions like that. Because we're the people out on the road having to deal with it. Okay, thanks. Right. With you? Oh, 13. John 13. You tell me, sir, how's this going to affect, you know they're getting ready to close this down, how's it going to affect your commute and what are you going to be doing? Um, I'm just going to take 59 to Gray then. And 59 to where? To West Gray. Okay, just and come just, around? Yeah, could go around town. Okay, you think it's poor planning with them shutting this whole thing down? Um, no, I'm sure they have a good reason to do it. 